Tigo Yoso Village is located in Purbalingo District, East Lampung Regency, Lampung Province. Nothing special in this village, this village is bordering to Wei Kamba National Park, TNWK, it is similar to another suburban villages. It is far away from supermarket and hotels. Without beaches, hills, sunrise, as well as village potential that show up to the world, this is the picture of Tigo Yoso Village years ago. Tigo Yoso Village was founded in 1953 as a result of general transmigration imported from Java Island, the majority of whom were from Central Java and West Java, with areas of origin, Kabuman, Solo, Kerang Enyar, Sumdang, and Sipare, as well as several families from Yogyakarta and East Java. In 2020, Tigo Yoso Village was starting to change the face of the village with the presence of the Smart Village program, it was initiated by the Governor and Deputy Governor of Lampung. This program aims to optimize services to the society to be more professional, transparent, effective and efficient. Deliver public information that can be accessed easily, cheaply, anywhere and anytime. In 2021, the presence of the Way Saputi Conservation Foundation, YKWS, and the Forum for the Environment, WALHI, in Tigo Yoso Village played a very important role in realizing the implementation of Smart Village. This foundation teaches the society members to recognize village history, society trends when changes happen, society local wisdom, mapping potentials and problems, studying livelihoods and seasonal calendars, as well as discovering the concept of society empowerment. Even if it's located far away from the city, there are many project interventions that helps the community. So. The empowerment of the Tigo Yoso Society has begun to be organized, starting with revitalizing the use of the yard as a vegetable growing area, cultivating honey clansang, trigona, village schools and culinary tourism. Of course the current challenge is to ensure its sustainability. On October 2021, wife the Lampung governor, Rihanna Sari Aranol, had time to visit Tigo Yoso village, directly observe the activities of society-based empowerment. In August 2022, Tigo Yoso village again received a visit from the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, ACB, with the Ministry of Environment and Forestry, accompanied by the Way Kamba National Park and the Jakarta Panabulu Foundation as service providers. The purpose of the group's arrival was to see the results of the implementation of the Natural Resource Potential Optimization Program in Tigo Yoso Village. Sustainable development is a priority for the Tigo Yoso village government, as an effort to preserve the environment, through implementing a green economy. In this way, the Tigo Yoso village government can achieve community welfare, 
without having to cause damage to nature and environmental pollution. For this reason, the Sustainable Economic Development Model is a growth model that integrates economic growth with environmental sustainability and social justice. Thank you for watching this video.